His Daniel bodyguard is in big trouble. The Nigeria army are warning him currently. The way he wore, he is now wearing camouflage to do uh, comedy videos. They do not like it. The Kid Daniel bouncer shoot into fame after a video of him showing of him safeguarding his Daniel and pushing someone by his side while his Daniel was trying to uh, get his way into a venue. The internet uh, picked that video, posted it, and before you know it, his name was everywhere. Kiz Daniel Bouncer, Kiz Daniel Bodyguard, Kiz Daniel Bouncer. It's not like directly Kiz Daniel Bouncer, it's part of his security team. It's not the head, but it's part of his security team. And uh, because of the body build, I large reach. Now it did get a lot of uh, public uh, sympathy and uh, making a lot of money for himself now with other businesses, which is really, really good and really, really nice. So I really like the also spirit and everything. And now the camouflage now becomes an issue. You know how camouflage be for Nigeria. If you wear camouflage, go out now and so they catch you with camouflage. Well, lie, you go put that camouflage go. And again, the Nigeria army has already won. Nigeria police have won to, to for uh, uh, stop the general public, especially comedians, not to stop wearing camouflage, as to stop using police uniform to hack their comedy videos. If you want to hack comedy videos or use a uh, uh, use police uniform or uh, any uh, security personnel, you must seek for permission. That is the new rules. You must seek for permission. And they will allow you to use it. So we do not know if Kizani bodyguard has already seeked for permission. But there is an army boy who is not currently happy with the way they are portraying the whole camouflage. So he decided to speak against it. <laughs> He decided to speak against it. This particular goes to the skit makers. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, I was watching one skit maker. Mm, I don't know what they call them. They said like Chris Daniel Bouncer. Now we get chest. Now we get chest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're working with your boss before. You never put on camo before. But when you left your boss, like you feel like putting on camo, maybe now nah, you get chest. You should wear our father's clothes. Um, we are not happy with you. We're not happy with you. Even if people can say it like, ah, you guy, they wear chest and get muzzle. Man, I don't fucking really care. I don't fucking really care. If you want to add kids, you can put on your normal in if your normal clothes, but not putting on my father's clothes. I'm adding kids. Are you a, are you a bastard? What kind of thing is that? What are you trying to mean that maybe you can put on a uniform and at and at your drama stuff like that? Put us ah, see that guy they wear uniform. See, see, God bless your forefathers, eh? God bless your forefathers. We will catch you. Let me pass in there. I'm passing by the YC putting on a camo, acting drama or what. I swear, I will condemn you. I will condemn you because, you know... You... That is coming from one of the... Uh, I know some Nigerians who talk, say, I will take consign you now. Now only they start to reveal camouflage. You know, see how that's made reveal camouflage. And all those kind of things. <laughs> Let's just be honest. If I catch that guy, eh, that bass and me again moves away. Well. Because of the uniform, eh, they will beat him and not go out on they go beat him and nothing go up. Let us be honest. They go beat him and nothing go up. No, but not be one person, not be two, not be three, like, like well, four or five of them come, like, catch him. They go mess him up and nothing go up. No. Let's be honest. Because the rules are so, the, the rules are already there. If you want to use camouflage, make sure you seek for permission. So the only thing made the army go there wrong to us is when. He actually seeked for permission and uh, they didn't uh, do the investigation very well to know if he seeked for permission or not and they start uh, beating him up or embarrassing him, you know. But, you know, uh, the way they are portraying army, this police and army in, in their uh, uh, skit or in their comedy videos, you won't blame them. It's normal. That is what they usually do, oppression. The army, they are known for oppressing people. They are known well for oppressing people with their uniform. Hmm? So, if they are portraying like that, like that, they are angry. Why the police? Ah, we don't say police, they collect uh, money for road now. So, there's no bar for road. But, they still tell comedians, 
do not portray us like that. Do not show the world that we are like this, we are like that, we are this, we are that, we are doing this. Well, it's okay now. Since that is what they want, do not do it. And for me, my advice for him, I beg, come on hand for soldier come of luck. Because Nigerians make that they praise you now. They are praising you, hyping you. <laughs> when things set, now they will laugh you, honestly speaking. When things set, they will be the one to laugh you. So let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, Kataife versus Portable and versus Yondu. Oimu, Oimu, Emela, yeah? That's the song now. Uh, Kataife and the young dude decided to uh, uh, officially do because young dude was the f is the owner of that song. Because even before Kataife came into the picture assisting young dude, young dude already made a freestyle of that music. So Kataife just came to assist young dude. So they officially dropped the original song on Spotify and other platform, and the. Uh, Fans discovered that Kataife didn't include Young Do's name. So they thought that Kataife was trying to rip Young Do. And meanwhile, Portable already said, Young Do is signed under him. Young Do is signed under him. Young Do have a contract with him. So Kataife do not have the right to feature Young Do or assist Young Do when it comes to music. So I said, now, now portable get young do voice. That is the crazy thing about uh, artists. That is the crazy thing about signing a deal. Portable, you know the the, the life is irony. Portable made that they oppress. They shall say that they they want rip and they want rip up. Now in now one call they oppress other people. You see the irony about life. You see the irony about life about human beings. When God say, uh, when when the Bible said. Uh, the heart of men is dangerously wicked and very unjust. You think uh, the Bible is like you were the one being oppressed and you were screaming to your head that you were being oppressed. But now, now you now call a deal with another artist when you sign. If God decides to show you Shiggy, Portable, and you will run. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were thinking that. Kataife was trying to rip Young Do, but guess what? He wasn't trying to rip Young Do. Young Do immediately came on live to say he was the one that requested Kataife not to include his name on that song. Maybe because, uh, indeed, indeed, oh, maybe because indeed, Young Do is actually signed to Portable. And his name not included on that song, eh? boom. It entirely means that the song belongs to Kataife. And Kataife will settle Young Do. They may have had a secret agreement, but Portable won't be able to eat anything from that uh, music. Well, I will, let me play you the videos of them arguing. Stop playing. Get it. Portable is. See, I know I'll be no one to I'll be no but right now, right now, I'll make sure I'll make sure say what is it that they call a yogi do yogi do yogi do they drop it next week. It will shock you, portable. It will shock you where now me dead there. Nobody I don't even want to put my name there, but my voice is my money. Now they hear me. Nobody is ripping me. Now my voice be my money. I me talk to make it day like that. So now that go day, I want to see money. Now money are fine. Now money are fine. Come the God. I don't want to anybody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Kata Ifem, they know I don't post my album. Ah, Sweet and Jesse, he got of Africa. And he created it. Oh, wait. Hey, everybody is on the policy. I want to drop my album. Now he made them, they blackmail me. They, they use my boy, they enter.
Come on, come. Me, I want to drop my album. They won't drop only one song. Ripping song. Oh, you want the body of Ibo. Oh, you want the body of Ibo. Oh, you want the body of Ibo. So, guys, uh, you see the matter. Well, it's all about making money now when it comes to music. So, Kataife assisting Young Do, that is really, really nice. So, somebody must assist somebody just the way someone assisted Potibo. So, make Potibo go relax. Make it relax. Make it allow another person to assist uh, Young Do. After all, after all, you weren't, you were already beefing the guy. But at the end of the day, if your young do actually have uh, an agreement with Portable, young do will have to buy himself of that agreement, man. Young do have to buy himself of that agreement. Or if young do get proof, say Portable sent boys computer with evidence, yeah, then he can sue Portable and uh, they might dissolve the agreement between them. No? I might dissolve it. So let's see what will happen. We are, we are still watching the matter closely, and I'm still going to be informing you. So have a wonderful day.